You are listening to Radio Belvaspata, South Africa. This show is dedicated to those who live and love from the heart in infinite ways. In today's episode, we will discuss, share, gain insights and get clarity on the wisdom and teachings of the mystic and seer Almin, as well as discover more about the miraculous healing modality called Belvaspata. Your host for this show is Paul. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Radio Bell Vaspata, broadcasting live out of South Africa, east of Johannesburg. It is Thursday, the 9th of November. See, I had to check. 2017, if you're interested in the date or the time. It's now 8 p.m. South African Standard Time. And tonight we are discussing the ancient ones, the original ones, ancient translations, talking about cosmic birthdays, we're going to be talking about The two tones that rang out as its feminine and masculine layers interacted, then clustered the subatomic particles into individuated forms. So there we go. We're talking about a lot of these processes today. Let's listen to some ancient didgeridoo now. And I'd like to just introduce to you a beautiful, beautiful uh, didgeridoo player. She lives out in the desert, absolutely wild. She's also known as the most beautiful didgeridoo player in the world. Her name is Tiki Stamasuri, and we're going to be having a short interlude right now as she plays the most magnificent didgeridoo playing I've ever heard and inspiring me to go grab mine, which is lying in the corner gathering dust and cobwebs. But let's listen to didgeridoo by... And with Tiki Stama Suri. Welcome back to the studio, Radio Belvaspata, South Africa, broadcasting out of Johannesburg, 9th of November. Thank you for joining us. That was the most beautiful didgeridoo play in the world called Tiki Stamasuri, just showing us some beautiful music of an ancient musical instrument. In fact, the didgeridoo, I believe, is, is known to be the oldest wind instrument um, you know, within our memory banks. And there's plenty more different instruments, of course, that are doing different things there. But uh, Almin was teaching us there that the first musical instrument ever created was the Matrix. 
that then defined the boundaries of space. So why are we talking about this tonight? Well, I thought I'd take us back to this point of where Almin really discusses the ancient ones, talks about the original ones. And I know this may be causing some particular aspects or, um, you know, we have having to seek deep within ourselves where that particular aspect is. But the Tablets of Fire interviews, the Tablets of Fire seminars that the seer is producing and giving to us is life changing. It all describes how the original ones wrote a lot of these Tablets of Fire and now it has come back from the future into this present moment. And that is really showing us so many more dimensions and realities and allowing us to dissolve that which no longer needs to function in our particular space. Uh, we hope that you are getting a good signal from us tonight. Nico is indicating here outside the studio that uh, he keeps losing signal. Again, we don't know why, but technology is great, isn't it? At least we can talk some of the time through our radio show. But uh, yes, this is where we're at. Right, Almin tells us that the ancient ones are the major light workers of the earth. She says that according to the translations of the holy records of Ananu, the major light workers of the earth are the ancient ones. And they seem as men because they have forgotten who they are. They have assumed the limited belief systems of humanity. The original ones or ancient ones were created eons before humanity and dwelled in a different plane of reality that was more magnetic in its nature. Their memories are held in this alternate reality, which is a horizontal cosmic wheel where they dwell as well. The vertical cosmic wheel is where form began. It is where light and sound split from having been one and where time began. Time is the movement of emotion based on desire. So there you're seeing the connection coming through about why I was talking about the first musical ever created and playing the didgeridoo just to bring us into working within the feminine and masculine layers and allowing all of those then to dissolve. And as we move into different realities, so much more is happening. But you'll know for yourself, if you've been a regular listener to the show, or um, literally if you, you know, a student with, uh, through Almin's teachings, through the Sears Almin's teachings, you'll know by now that your reality is completely shifting and that you are probably in a state of being where you are putting yourself more in control of it and more trusting of your own particular ability to maintain, to grow that different reality and as illusion dissolves you know i've been pondering today this aspect of what illusion is and what disillusion is um and it's a fascinating concept for me because we know that we've been living in the illusion um created around you know within the matrix aspect so it does uh when we're actually living in the disillusion of the illusion we're actually creating a new reality and those are opposite meanings of the actual words because let's face it a lot of people will say oh you're living in your own disillusionary world or your own reality but in fact we're allowing ourselves to then move into higher dimension or higher realities as we're going along and uh, allowing ourselves to really begin to understand the roles that each one of us plays. And I think whether or not we identify ourselves as an ancient one, or we identify ourselves as someone who is working on a spiritual level, you know, through spiritual evolution and ascension within our own uh, process, then, you know, th that's what it is. We don't need to identify with anything. But I'm sure that you personally will agree right now that your life is shifting and changing and that you are being offered... Um, so many more different opportunities to be different, to be otherwise, to create an alternate process for yourself. And really, I think it comes down to the basics of things are no longer working for you in the way that they did. Nick and I have had some really interesting conversations over the last few weeks and uh, butted heads about it a little bit here and there as well, because we have our own perspectives and our own processes. But we do agree that... Um, you know, there's one thing that we are looking at all the time is that we don't want to have anybody's old processes and realities around us anymore. And we're seeing it falling away rapidly and opportunities to come up for ourselves as well to move onwards and to move forwards. And we've made a very firm decision not to get distracted by all of these particular events or people or experiences. And in fact, just keep going what we need to do in terms of developing ourselves, dropping away that which no longer serves us and just being more powerful in our day-to-day -day interactions with each other within ourselves. So really fascinating stuff going on there. What I'd like to do is now play for you 
uh, a track, uh, it's a fairly old track, but you'll see where we're going with it when we start to play. It's an Almi. Okay, so we are having a technical issue right now. We'll be back in just a few moments. Please bear with us. Just close. 